Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing this green cut crease and I'm going to start right off with her eyebrows. So because she has really good eyebrows, I just uh, filled them in a little bit with dip brow and just lined them. I do not make myself work harder if I don't have to. So if you got good eyebrows, I'm going to keep them as good as they are. Just fill them in and clean them up you don't want your eyebrows looking all dark and stuff that makes you look mean and it ain't cute anymore <laughs> so i'm just going to clean them up with some concealer i'm using the maybelline age rewind concealer and i'm using a concealer brush for that and then i'm just going to drag the concealer down and blend that out all over her lid and use use that as like an eyeshadow base. So after you're done patting all of that concealer out, I'm going to go in with this like green, dark teal color. I don't even know. And um, with a Morphe 506 brush, and I'm going to pack that into her crease, but I'm not going to blend it out again. I'm just going to pack that color on and get it the intensity that I want first and then blend it out with another color. I'm going in with this lime green color and the same Morphe 506 brush and just blending out the edges with that color and just making sure the edges from that darker color are well blended but not worrying about the lime green being blended because we're going to blend it out with another color after that. So now I'm taking that bright yellow color and then now I'm going to blend out the edges on the top. Making sure everything is blended with that same Morphe 506 brush. I know it's not like a really big fluffy brush, but it still worked out really good. So I'm just going back in with that dark green color because again, you always lose some color when you're blending out other colors on them. So I'm just going back in with that dark green and then the uh, the light green or lime green and just going back and forth with those two colors just to make sure everything is nice and blended and the intensity that I want is there. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just make sure everything is blended out on the, um, the outer edges just to make sure there's no harsh lines or anything. So now I'm going to cut the crease. Again, I'm using some concealer. I think I'm using the Maybelline uh, the Maybelline Fit Me because that's like a more thinner consistency. And a um, liner brush. And I'm going to line out where I want the crease to be. I felt like that was a little bit more easier for me. And then going in with a concealer brush and filling out the rest. So now I'm going to pat this uh, like a dual chrome green thing is from ColourPop. I'm going to leave everything down below with a Morphe flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to pat that on her lids, but making sure you just get it right on the, the concealer part. That way it looks nice and clean. And you just want to pat that until, you know, you get the intensity that you want. You can actually wet the brush too. That way the intensity of the... um the color, the eyeshadow color could come out more vibrant. I also added this like shimmery lime green color onto her lid because I wanted it to be a, a tad bit more lime green-ish instead of like the color, their, the first color, which looked a little bit more gold. So after I'm done applying the lid color, I usually go back with a thin, it looks like a pointed um, eyeliner brush and with that dark green color and just outline right where I cut the crease. That way the intensity is a little bit darker and it looks more cleaner. Then I go in with the black and add it to the outer corner of her eye so it could look a little tad bit more darker. Then I'm going in with some gold eyeshadow for the inner corners. 
for lining her eyes and tight lining i'm using this catrice waterproof gel liner and just lining her eyes real quick and i'm leaving the waterline not uh, I'm leaving the waterline blank because I'm using eyeshadow for that. To make the gel liner more dark and matte, I'm just going to add some black eyeshadow and pack that onto everywhere I put the black gel liner. I'm going in with some Salon Perfect eyelashes and just popping them right onto her lashes. So now for the face, I'm going to clean it up with some makeup remover wipes first before applying the foundation. And the foundation I'm going to use is the Fenty Beauty foundation with a Real Techniques uh, foundation brush. And I'm just going to add that all over her skin. I already had did one side of the face when I did the one side, so all I'm doing is just this side and then blending in the middle where the um, the other one, you know, stopped and stuff like that. So for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and adding that underneath her eyes and blending it out with a concealer brush, like a fluffy concealer brush, and then with a mini uh, makeup sponge just to make sure everything is nice and blended. And then I'm just going in with some um, RCMA No Color Powder to set her foundation and her concealer. For her lower lash line, I'm going to take Sugar Pearl's Poison Plum and add that to her waterline and her lower lash line. And um, I'm going to take like a darker plum color just to darken it up on their outer edges of her, like towards the outer V. So for bronzer, I'm using ColourPop's In It To Win It with like a, a contour fluffy brush. And this contour is not a contour, it's like a bronzy color, but it's like a really good bronze slash contour color. At first I didn't use it, but now I feel like I'm starting to like it more and more every time I use this color. And for blush, I'm taking this like pinky color from La Femme and just adding that to her cheeks. For highlight, I'm taking this color pop highlight and I'm taking that lighter, well, the lightest color in there. And I'm going to add that onto her high points of her face. <laughs> OMG and this highlighter palette I freaking love it was so cheap and it's so good I think everyone should get this and for lips I'm lining her lips with NYX suede pencil and sandstorm and I'm just gonna line her lips and then pop some of uh, ColourPop's 951 satin lip color onto her lips and that's it for the lips and now to set everything i'm taking this morphe spray and just spraying her whole entire face and that's it for the look so i hope you guys enjoyed because i did she is so pretty and she just made the look pop even more so um, thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video